Adiba with the INT fitting way to end this game. Saints. Well, they can now clinch the NFC South with a win next week and a Buccaneers loss to the Panthers in Week 18. So nobody wants the division. Nope. Nobody's taken the division, and the division will be decided by two games in Week 18. 23 to 13, your final here. Some news for the Saints doesn't bode well moving forward. Hopeful to have him back, but Alvin Kamara left the game in the third quarter with an ankle injury and did not return. Back in studio alongside Brian McFadden, Joe Musso, your host. Mac, as you look at what the Bucks didn't do in this game, I mean, how jarred are you by the lack of execution? Not to be in this game really at any point, the turnover issues, everything yeah. they were doing so well for the last six or so weeks was exactly what plagued them here on Sunday. Exactly. I'm so I'm so surprised to see the the the, the slow start. I'm so surprised to see the, the sloppy football on both sides, especially offensively with all the turnovers. Everything was set up for Tampa to go ahead and take care of their business and create more separation from the Saints when you talk about trying to have the number one spot in the division, the NFC South. And I'll say this right now, as you guys know as well, who've been following the NFL the entire season. Only one team is getting in the playoffs from the NFC South, mm -hmm. and that will be the <laughs> division winner. And right now, before 1 o'clock, uh, this 1, 1 p.m. kickoff, we all felt like the team that would take it in the NFC South would be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, based on how well they've been playing over the last few weeks, and of course with Baker Mayfield playing some high-level football. But the total opposite surface today, and because of that, the New Orleans Saints, they have more than life than in, in regards to getting in the playoffs and most importantly, winning the NFC South. It all comes down to this. Buccaneers would need to lose in week 18 against the Panthers and New Orleans would need to win. It's likely still going to be the Buccaneers, but you got to get it figured out. Yeah, and because the thing about that Carolina game, one would say weeks ago, Atlanta had a winnable game against Carolina. Fair. They were sitting in a prime position to win the division. Sleeping at the wheel, something bad happened. They took one on the chin. So, yes, you're right. Tampa should still win the division. But the way how the NFL has been navigating the entire season, which may, has made it so entertaining to watch, you don't know. Mm -hmm. When you think you know, when you think you can predict or say, yeah, this is going to happen, this player is going to do this or that, you don't know. So for Tampa, yes, they made it very, very interesting for all of us because if they took care of their business today, that final game against Carolina wouldn't mean as much now. It's a must-win situation for Tampa. We'll see what happens in Week 18, but here in Week 17, the Buccaneers taking a step back following that four-game winning streak. More coming here on Game Day Scoreboard. We will get you back out to the game of the day on CBS, where Lamar Jackson and his head coach sound off following the demonstrative win.